Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, December 5th, 2023. Let's get into it. Uh, my friend says I don't sing too good at the beginning of the video. Uh, GLDG, that's a ticker symbol you might want to take a look at. Redacted did a whole special on that. Um, I already own some. Uh, I might look at buying some more. I uh, can't do it this month. <laughs> my, my expenses have been outrageous. Oh my God, I took, well, and I, I want to tell you how to negotiate uh, because you don't have to be a prick about it. I took the motorcycle into the shop and uh, and basically all I want them to do is change the oil and do a yearly checkup uh, and check the tires and all that stuff. And uh, they wanted $315 for an hour and a half's worth of work. And I even provided them with the oil. And so I started protesting to the girl at the counter. I said, that seems ridiculous to me. I said, even auto dealers only charge 60 bucks an hour for later labor. I said, so what are you charging here? You know, $150 an hour for, for your labor? And, uh, and, and she finally caved in and she goes, well, I'll just give you one of our packages. Our packages. It still cost me $212 for an hour and a half worth of work on the motorcycle. But let me tell you, when you establish a relationship... Uh, even though you're overpaying, I way overpaid for that. Don't don't get me wrong. I mean, I could have just sat there and been an asshole about it. And I just said, well, I appreciate that, you know, and uh, next time I'll ask for the package deal because she felt guilty. You should have seen her. She was like, oh, God, you know, you know what? Maybe I can do something here. And, and, and she came through for me. And I uh, and so now the next time I go back, you know, I'll, I'll say, you know, you know, hey, well, let's get the package deal. And uh, and then also you've got that repeat customer relationship so that, that she'll look and she'll say, oh, you were here the first year you had the motorcycle. You were here the second year you had the motorcycle. And now you're coming back for a third time. You're a good paying customer. You pay, you overpay for what our, <laughs> what our services are. <laughs> so we're going to take care of you. So I, I just, just kind of letting you know how to negotiate with people. Even though you, you're, you're ripped off. Ah, uh, let's get into the news. Uh, the Hootie, Hootie's uh, threatened, well, this is the, uh, Hootie's threatened the Saudi oil fields. So I was real curious about why the Hooties uh, got away with attacking four ships in a U.S., uh, what was it, a destroyer, and there wasn't, you know, any major retaliation i would have thought with their aircraft carriers there and we got all kinds of military hardware that we would have just gone in well that the, the neocons would have blown the hell out of the hoodies and not that i'm for that i'm not for that at all but i and but what it was was the hoodies have a number of weapons that they can threaten the saudi oil fields now and so they're scared they don't want to go in there and blow the hell out of the hoodies you know? so i imagine the hoodies get too Two rambunctious that there's going to be some limited uh, airstrike. It's going to be kind of like a escalation to the escalation ladder, as the Duran likes to call it. You know, I got these glasses on. Let's get uh, let's get this out of the way first. Um, this is the book that I was talking about in a previous video. Got it marked with a silver coin. This is a silver round from SD Bullion. Got to give that to a friend as a as a Christmas present. You want to give a good Christmas present? Give a silver coin. That's the best Christmas present. President, you can. And he's talking about the name of the book is How Democrats Employed Mafia and Gangster Tactics to Gain and Hold Power. This is by Vince Everett Ellison. Now, this book is way too expensive for what the material that you get. I, I just, I thought, I listened to the guy and I thought, you know what, I, I want to read this book. So let's just read one paragraph. Consumed with pride, envy, hatred, and the psychotic need to commit murder and cause pain, the Democrats are no longer under the heel of cowardly racists and demented clan members. They have evolved, been transformed, and now controlled by the secretly racist elites who happen to be some of the most brilliant, prosperous, and evil criminals in the world. I wrote Crime Incorporated to remind Americans that criminal behavior isn't just for the breaking of legal statutes implemented by governments. Nazis, communists, and Democrats are criminals not because they run stop signs or litter. They are criminals because they intentionally cause misery and death wherever they rule. You might ask, if they haven't been indicted for a crime, and then of course, you know, we go on to the Trump indictments. And, they, and uh, by the way, this was a good definition. Let's see. Uh, so the Oxford Language Dictionary defines crime as an action or activity that, although not illegal, is considered to be evil, shameful, or wrong. The taking of innocent life, theft, 
The sexualization, boy, doesn't this sound like the Democrat Party? The sexualization, grooming, and genital mutilation of children, the obsession with pornography and filth, religious restriction and persecution, acting out in pride, hatred, deception, sloth, envy, violence, revenge, and perpetrating of genocide on the black community of, uh, are all evil, according to the Oxford Dictionary. Sounds just like the Democrat Party to me. Sounds like Genocide Joe! Genocide Joe! Yes, yes, he's all for the destruction, the elimination of the Palestinian people. That's what the Democrats are all about. And of course, we got Benjamin Netanyahu, the Butcher of Gaza. The Butcher of Gaza. Yes, indeed. Those are the titles that are ringing around the world right now. I know that you as Americans don't follow what's going on around the world, but these are the titles that they've been attributed to. So I guess that's a good thing. Let's continue down the, uh, the the news here. Is Turkey still in NATO? I don't even know. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I have no idea. But you know what? I want to get to the first, uh, uh, since we're talking about, you know, uh, Genocide Joe, let's watch the Johannesburg. This is kind of a nothing burger. If you want to skip past this, it's a, it's a little protest in Johannesburg, but it tells you that they're still protesting around the world. I can take these off now because my writing's big enough that I can see it. Let's watch that. Come together and unite. Genocide is a crime. Genocide is a crime. So that we may not forget our shared humanity. Okay, so that was the protest in Johannesburg, and, uh, and let's just keep going through the news. Um, Jordan, Egypt, and Turkey, uh, well, we already knew this. They've condemned Israel, but they keep coming out with new statements uh, saying how they don't appreciate the extermination of the Palestinians. The horrific videos of, come, of women and dead children and, and basically uh, the, the, the construction, and it was kind of like a commentator pointed out. Uh, he said, you know, if we could see the Hamas uh, soldiers being dragged out of the caves, it'd be a different story, but we're not seeing that. All we see is civilian death. They're just exterminating the Palestinians. They're not killing any of the Hamas soldiers. They're, they're coming up. By the way, there was a huge attack. Uh, the Hamas, uh, they, they, they set a trap. They killed 60 Israeli soldiers in one fell swoop. And from what I understand, that the, the uh, uh, casualties that the uh, Israelis are taking is, is pretty colossal at this point, even though that's being covered up in the media. So, uh, and then there's also heavy fighting in the West Bank. Uh, you don't know, but the Israelis are up there trying to exterminate the Palestinians in the West Bank. And, of course, you've got Hezbollah that's kind of shooting across to support them in a certain kind of way, and the Palestinians are putting up a good fight there. Even though they're, out, they're outmatched, they're outgunned for sure, but it's, um, I tell you, it's, it's horrible. I, luckily, I, didn't, I don't have any video of that. Uh, uh, by the way, I, I got another video of... Uh, the Russians, um, and they were exterminating the Ukrainians in their trenches uh, because they had drones flying above and the Ukrainians were moving around and, and they were dropping grenades on them. And the guys, uh, I, I, can't, I, I, I hate to say it, come on, Russians, you know, you're better people. They were cheering. They were cheering. We got them. We got them. And the guys are crawling around in the blood. And I, I, I would not, I can't show that video. I, 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 I am saving like a documentary. Uh, maybe, I don't know if I'll ever have the heart to produce it to show people what war is really about. All I can do is just kind of describe to you what was in the video. I, I got it recorded and I'll have it on my computer, but it's horrific. Ah, okay, the Eisenhower uh, carrier group has entered the Persian Gulf. Uh, well, we kind of already knew that, uh, but they're in position to attack Iran. Now, are they going to attack Iran? Because... I was listening to right-wing radio. I can't remember the commentary. It might have been Buck. Buck and whatever the other guy's name is. And uh, what 
they were saying, or, or whoever it was, they were saying that the reason why our gas prices are so low right now is that Biden has given Iran uh, the ability to sell their oil around the world to keep the prices down. Because even though Saudi Arabia's cut production and you got Russia that's cut production, Iran is 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 has increased their production and, and they're selling all around the world. So it's kind of like a double standard, you know. You've got all of these neocons in, in, in the US Congress and probably in the Biden administration that want to blow the hell out of Iran, and at the same time they're allowing Iran to sell their oil. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it just the world don't make sense, does it? It just don't make sense to me. All right, so uh uh, we already went into the Hamas ambush. Uh, you know, what happened to the 1,000 ship Turkey Armada that was uh, uh, of civilian ships carrying humanitarian aid that was traveling to Israel? It's, it's a complete news blackout. If you know anything about it, let me know. I, I haven't heard anything. So, uh, gold. Uh, I did an emergency video last night. I mean, it was skyrocketing on the, on the futures. And then today it went down slightly. So go figure. There's a video on YouTube. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, he's one of my favorite people, and I'll watch it. And but I'm not going to make a video about it. But it's at twenty. It's still at two thousand and thirty nine dollars. Almost at the height. Almost height. And you got silver. At, well, silver's only at twenty four sixty six. I I still think it's a good buy. And uh, uh, by the way, SD Bullion's still running some good uh, good sales. You can pick up a Silver Eagle at spot. And then a, a tube of Britannicas. Definitely check it out. Um, oh, yeah, there was a uh, the Duran. They came out with a, a, a basically there was a, a soldier on the front lines from Ukraine. who posted on Telegram, and he was talking about what it was like under the Russian barrage, and he just described it as a living hell. Uh, you just have to watch their channel. I mean, it was it was horrific. Just 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 listening to it i can't even imagine living it and i uh, you know he said everybody around him was dead and the russians were just beating them with this was in the kherson region where they you know where they crossed the Dnieper river and uh, the russians set a trap there for him and they were just blowing the hell out of him and, and and for whatever reason these these ukrainian idiot officers keep sending them across the river and uh, they just go there to die um so let's keep going uh yeah, okay, I always try to hit some crazy stuff. I, everybody says, you know, too too many topics. You always talk about too many things in your videos. You know, you, you need to stick to something and just talk about it. Well, that's what everybody on YouTube does. They all just sit there, and, you know, and they'll, they'll read a freaking article from MSDNC or from Bloomberg or something, and they spend their whole video on it. I don't want that. I want the rundown, man. I want piece by piece. Give me the Give me everything quickly. So that I know what the hell's going on, whether it be, you know, your cell phone settings, uh, you know, whatever's going on in Gaza, what's going on in Ukraine. Just give me the, and then, then then I can go back to drinking beer and watching a, a movie. So anyway, cell phone uh, settings. I didn't realize this on the S22. I finally found it. You can set it to an 85 percent charge and that will preserve your battery for a longer period of time. So if you're planning to keep your cell phone for a long time, which I may or may not. I usually just kind of upgrade because they dropped the price on the S23 all the way down to 600 bucks. <laughs> it was remember when it came out it was $1300 or $1400. So when I could pick it up for $600 and then I can trade in my S22 for 250 to Google Fi and that's the only reason I use Google Fi because you got that trade in and like I said I could sell it better on eBay. Uh yeah, and but anyway, what I'm telling you is you can set the uh, cell phone setting to an 85% charge, which is what I hear about these lithium batteries, especially on computers, on your laptops. You don't want to charge up the battery more than 50%. Uh, so anyway, uh, wait, and by the way, let me know how this video turns out. UHD and 30. So, and portrait. I'm using portrait. Uh, video portrait. We'll see how this turns out. Compare the war in Ukraine to Gaza. Yeah, well, civilians, casualties. So when you look at what the Russians did, they went in a very controlled measure. They killed a hell of a lot of Ukrainians. Not civilians, though. Not very many civilians. They were very controlled, very measured. Otherwise, the world would have turned against Russia. Do you think that the Western media wouldn't be every day touting the fact that the Russians are killing, a, they're blowing up civilians, they're killing civilians by the thousands? No. But that's what's taking place in Gaza, and that's why the whole world is turning against Israel right now. 
they're seeing these horrific images and I'm watching them too. So uh, on that note, let's get to a video by Putin. Uh, this is him. And what I want you to check out in the latter part of this video is like everybody. I mean, do you think this man is not the master of the world at this point? <laughs> I mean, he's, he's the most powerful man in the world, in my opinion. I don't think Xi Jinping holds a candle. Look at all the people that are paying homage to, to Putin just as he's making this speech. And then look at the, the symbolism of this, those huge gold arches right behind him in the video. Let's watch it now. In the coming years, we will perform a number of important roles. We will be chairing the extended BRICS format. And we will make sure that the new participants will be smoothly integrated into the work of this organization. We also intend to increase the role of BRICS in resolving the issues on the global agenda. And make efforts to boost international multilateral strategic partnership with BRICS. And increase our engagement in international economic, financial and other spheres. We'll be preparing for the Kazan Summit of BRICS that will be held in 2024. Okay, so that was, that was, I just thought that was a wild video. Uh, so Russia, by the way, they, uh, they, the sanctions, <laughs> Russia's the most sanctioned nation on the planet. And yet, they've got the best economy in the world right now. So that ought to tell you that the West is losing. Um, the re the re revenue in October it hit record highs. They're making more money hand over fist because what they did, they developed a shadow fleet of, uh, of tankers and they're shipping their oil all over the world because they're a commodity rich nation. And I'm, I'm sure they're shipping all kinds of stuff and their industry's rocking. They maintain their industry. They didn't ship their industry overseas like we did here in the United States. Biden is at the lowest approval rating <laughs> as Trump soars. Uh, if the Democrat Party has any common sense, they would run Robert uh, Kennedy Jr., that's my opinion. I, I don't know if you've seen any of the, the reports, DeSantis versus Newsom or Blue State versus Red State. I mean, he, uh, Newsom got destroyed. Uh, I didn't even watch the thing. I just listened to people talk about it. Um, so, uh, yeah, and let's finish up with some fun stuff. So these are a couple clips from the Babylon Bee. They, they, they've got two new videos out right now. You're a lion, dog-faced pony soldier. <laughs> You got to watch that. I'm going to put a couple clips up. I hope I don't get a copyright. Uh, I, I, I would hope the Babylon Bee, because I'm only going to just take a couple seconds from these videos. And then they've got another video out that's freaking hilarious. The price is right is rising with Joe Biden. And I'll just put a brief clip up from that. That's it. Peace out. Stay free. My can't be right. We choose truth over facts. Whatever. My point is, it's too dangerous. Why do you care so much about stopping corn pop? He poses an actual stance as threat. There's been stroke and violence in our cities. If we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Well, don't go alone. At least take Black Pete with you. The great Negro of the time. Thanks. But please, don't say it like that. He looks like LLJ Cool J. The boy's got bigger biceps than my thighs. Don't call him boy. I'll help you capture corn pop. But I heard. He's in Indian territory. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. No, 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 not that type of Indian. And for Black Pete's sake, don't say it like that. You're a lion dog face pony soldier. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men and women created by goat, you know, you know the thing. Huh? I got hairy legs that turn blonde in the sun. The kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down straight and watch the hair come back up again. Uh, he's even older than I thought. Uh, folks, uh, please, um, Bar Bar uh, Barker is, is dead, am I? You're president, Joe Biden. It looks like a Halloween decoration. Oh, come on, man. Now, welcome to The Price is Rising, where you guess how much the cost of common household goods has changed during my presence. Because guess what? My Alex is working. Uh, let's, let's bring out our showcase model tricks. So pretty, beautiful.
beautiful. <laughs> She's 25, but doesn't look a day over 17. I love kids. Okay, let's 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 meet our contestants. Hey, I'm Nate. I'm from Norfolk, Nebraska. I, I used to drive an 18 wheeler through Norfolk. I well, I don't I don't think you did. Uh, who's next? I'm Chip. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I, I used to work the oil fields in Tulsa. No, you didn't. Okay, who's next? Who are, who are you? I'm Martha, and I'm from Grove City, Ohio. Oh, I, I want to capture the crash wreck. Sasquatch in Grove City. That doesn't even make any sense. Where's Jackie? Jackie? Jackie, are you here? Who's Jackie? She was going to be here. Uh, Jackie? You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician, Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down.